Hey, this is Ron Fournier with the Associated Press. Well, Hillary Clinton is cruising to a largely symbolic victory in Puerto Rico. The polls have closed there on the island. She's going to win the state, it looks like, according to a pre-election poll that the AP and the networks took. But as you know, it really doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is Barack Obama is going to go over the top of the number of delegates he needs to be the Democratic nominee probably sometime this week. Even Hillary Clinton's advisors admit that on background. Uh, this poll, though, is interesting. It does show the kind of problems he's having with some of the coalitions he'll need to be uh, the president in, in the fall election. According to the poll, Clinton got 65 percent of the vote in the largely, largely Hispanic island. Obama got just 35 percent among Democratic primary voters there. The bottom line is, even if he loses in Puerto Rico, which is likely to happen, Barack Obama is going to pick up as many delegates there as he lost Saturday in the rules fight. As you remember, that rules fight before the Democratic National Committee raised the whole issue of the popular vote. Is Hillary Clinton ahead in the popular vote? Her campaign says that overall since January, she has won more voters than Barack Obama and all the contests combined. The problem is that argument is bogus. We really don't know who won the popular vote. First of all, it's irrelevant. This is all about delegates, not the popular vote. Second of all, there's quite a few states, uh, caucus states, that Barack Obama did well in that will never know who had how many votes, so you can't put them in the total. Thirdly, in Michigan, he wasn't on the ballot, and in Florida, neither candidate campaigned there. So how can you fairly figure out what the true popular vote is in those two states, let alone the states that will never know how many people voted? So despite the popular vote argument, despite the victory in Puerto Rico, the bottom of the line is Barack Obama is going to be the Democratic nominee, the nation's first African-American nominee of a major party. That's likely to happen this week. This is Ron Fournier in Washington.